Alright, uh, I'm going to go into part three of my little overnight, or I'm sorry, um, my week-long bike tour. Um, me and Jessica are going on, and yeah, we'll get right back into it. So, fall and 50, 60 degree weather, and this is my setup. Um, not that I think it's a perfect setup or anything, just this is what I'm doing, and I feel like it's just kind of, it is kind of just thrown together, but it's been through trial and error of a few different things, so I figured it'd be nice to to show. Um, sleeping pad. Sleeping pad is the uh, Thermarest Trail R. No, it's just a regular trail, I think. Um, not the lightest weight one, not the fanciest, um, but it's durable. I've never had any issues. I, you, you'll hear things about people taking, you know, being certain to take repair kits for, with self-inflating air mattresses, but it's like, with this one, at least with the Thermarest one, I've never had any issues, and I don't really baby it at all. I mean, you can see right now, it's not like in a bag. It's just tied up with this rope um, and a night eyes little cincher down thing. Um, I've never had any issues with it, and it's really comfortable. So, you know, it's not as lightweight as some of the other ones. It's more comfortable. So, there's a, always a trade-off with with lightweight. I mean, it's not as comfortable and that sort of thing. But they do have some. I, I like. I don't know. I really like the pad. I, don't have anything bad to say about it. There's some foam inside of it, so it doesn't like just bounce around like a lot of the air mattresses do. It still feels kind of cushy, um, not just like you're sleeping on air, but that, in, in like not that you're wiggling around, but it's still cushy. And I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain. But um, I guess from there, carry this clean canteen, um, extra water holder container. Um, Last time I used a milk jug, and when I got to the campsite, I, I had it smushed down in my pannier, and when I got to the campsite, the milk jug was had a hole in it, so it, was, it leaked slowly. It wasn't a big deal. It was just kind of like, oh, I wouldn't really use that every day, so I bought one of these for like 12 bucks, and it'll carry almost a gallon of water. So when we get to the campsite, we can fill it up, and we'll have cooking, we'll food, cooking water, and water to wash our hands, and water for the morning. And, um, if we are going to go through somewhere that doesn't, that we know we don't have much water for a while, we'll just fill that up too. Sleeping bag, um, cat's meow um, from North Face. It's actually a women's bag I got on sale, and I'm shorter, about five foot eight. So I'm like right at the cusp of where this would go, um, and it's a little bit lighter weight and a little smaller. I wouldn't buy a women's bag again, um, just because it's not as wide, and the shape of them doesn't fit normally. It's not very comfy when it's zipped up. I don't have much room at all in it, um, but that's just because it's a women's bag and it's meant to fit women and women don't have wider shoulders and I have plenty of hip room in it but I don't have any hips so that doesn't help um, but yeah I didn't know that at the time I just thought it was a bag and it was lighter weight and whatever I'm not I've been happy with it I haven't wanted to change it it's about worn out though it's about six years old and uh, synthetic so it's not nearly as warm as it used to be but uh, but it works and that's fine and it weighs a couple pounds it's, it's nice I, it's really comfortable um, as far as the bike goes, I guess we we'll finish up here. I got the Surly Longhill Trucker, of course. Of course, you'll see plenty of videos about this bike and everything. Um, I love it, um, just like everybody else does. And I guess the way that I have, I'll show you just kind of the way that I have mine set up. Um, Carrying the tarp again, that'll probably be up here. I don't care if it gets wet up there. Everything else may or may not fit the painters. It's going to be close. Everything should fit in the painters. I may have to put one or two things up here on the rear of the rack. Um, of course, I just got some basic fenders from Planet Bike on there. I like the Planet Bike fenders. I got Schwab Marathon tires. I have about 5,500 miles on those Schwab Marathons. Um, just the regular ones, not the pluses. They ride better. They ride better than the pluses. And I've had only three flats in them, three, three flats um, in the last 5,500 miles, and then all those are in one week, and the tread is still fine on these tires, and I'm doing this trip without questioning it, but these tires are great, I'm actually, they're, they're lasting so long that I'm bored with them, I want new tires, but I haven't worn these, one out, these ones out yet, so, yeah, there's that, spokes, of course, I already explained though, you, if you, you know, this is a great idea, yeah, it's awesome that the bike comes with a spoke holder, but um, remember that the spokes are always going to break on the drive side, or typically, 90% of the time they're going to break on the drive side. That's where the most stress is on the wheel. So from there, 
you need a way to get the cassette off to get it fixed. So don't just stop there and say, oh, they thought of it for you. They didn't you need to get the cassette off to change the code. Think of something like that. Um, Pomp, Topeak, Road Morph. Of course, you'll see plenty of great reviews about that. I love it. Um, yeah, that's great. Water bottle, or the, uh, that's not a water bottle. Um, fuel bottle. One of the reasons I use this whole system is that uh, these clean canteen cages, they fit clean canteens, and that's great. Um, but they also fit fuel bottles, and they hold it nice and snug, and they're not coming out of there. Um, and I like that much better than putting a fuel bottle in one of my panniers. Just, I mean, even though it's white gas, that's another reason to use white gas, is that once white gas evaporates, it it doesn't smell, so that's, that's great. But um, I still don't want it in my stuff, so it's nice to just I put it here in one of my cages, and then I just use that one. And, that one down there. Um, my handlebar setup here is a second stem setup with an Arcal handlebar bag with an extender to put the light down underneath of the handlebar bag, which is awesome. And the light's really nice. Um, basic wired computer. Highly recommend wired, especially if you're using lights, because the lights will interfere with the signal a lot of times. And the wired is just more solid. It works better. It's more consistent. Um, Leather handlebar tape, needle noodle bars, um, Brooks saddle, um, standard uh, kind of long haul trucker setup. Um, um, Arkell handlebar bag that somebody sold me for really really cheap. Still got my map in there, but the map's nice because the map, you can you can fold them over so then you can read the uh, the map of where you are and then you can flip it over and look at like the turn by turn directions if I had the right map in there. But it's nice because you can read the turn by turn directions. That's what road I'm looking for next. But then you can actually look at the map. I like that. Um, you can remove the inside of this too to clean it, which needs to be done right now. So that's always nice too. You can take it out, throw it in the washing machine, and clean it. Um, I did take the zippers off. I cut them off and put paracord on there, and it makes a whole hell of a lot of less noise uh, because of that. So I recommend doing that. And then the front pocket, the little multi tool that I carry, and I keep this here for minor adjustments and everything is this the uh, Crank Brothers Multi-17. I love this tool too. I've had this in my bag for the last six years and it's perfectly fine. It has pretty much everything I need. So, I like that tool. I like that handlebar bag and set up. So this is my bike. Handles everything really, really well, especially with front panniers. Um, I just tried the front pannier thing out a couple days ago and uh, for the first time and it handles really nice. Uh, so I highly recommend low rider front panniers for carrying a lot of the weight so I'm actually going to put the heavy stuff up front um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to even it out like half the weight in there half the weight back here but then I'll have a little bit more weight in my handlebar bag so I'll actually have more weight up front is what I'm going for this trip and from like little test rides that I've done like it's going to handle so much better it's kind of counterintuitive almost it seems like but what it does is when you have a lot of weight on the back and not on the front, the front handling is still kind of twitchy, but then the back lags and it gets sh like some shimmy because the back's trying to, the back, all that mass on the back of the bike is trying to catch up to the front being nimble. But if you just slow down the front handling a little bit, then it just feels natural throughout the whole bike, um, at least on a touring bike. You know, this is a true touring bike, so I haven't tried it on many bikes, but I do like to distribute the weight a little bit throughout it on all bikes. So, so there's that, and uh, that's what's going to make us, that's what I'm going to be riding. Super comfy. I can sit on this thing for nine hours a day, but we're only going to be on the bike for about five or six hours a day. Um, that's the way I have it set up. And, uh, yeah. So I'm very happy with my setup right there. So yeah, that's just a, kind of our little overview of everything I'm taking. Um, got to get this thing all packed up now. I wanted to do this before I packed it up, and uh, so yeah, i got to go finalize everything. I, I didn't... I don't have the little things in here, little housekeeping stuff like phone chargers and light chargers, um, that sort of thing, and the food. We'll grab food, but we're going to stop along the way and pick up stuff at the grocery store, so I don't have that in there either. Um, and that's pretty much it. So it should be a lot of fun, and um, I hope this, I don't know, helps somebody or helps people with kind of looking at what just like a normal setup is. And it, I don't pretend that this is perfect by any means. This is just what's come from a few different tours and just kind of putting a quick, I put this together in a couple of days. This is mostly just stuff I had laying around. I didn't buy much new stuff. Um, and I didn't try to do it perfect by any means. I'm kind of, you know, this is another trial. So 
Um, yeah, we'll see what happens, but uh, it's pretty simple. Just kind of throw a bunch of stuff together, think about everything, and I don't know. I like to be prepared, if not overly prepared, so I carry a little bit more, and I'm okay with that. But uh, you can definitely do it lighter weight than I do it. That's that's for sure. But I do it. I try to do it very comfortably. Is what I go for. So that's that. All right. Thanks for watching. See you.